Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to share with you some of my January favorites and there's some really good ones, so let's get started. All right, so end of year is when I tend to splurge and really treat myself because there's some really great sales in December. So I tend to, like every single year, for the past few years, what I've been doing is buying myself a purse and a pair of shoes that I really, really have been wanting. I got this. It's by Chloe. It is a crossbody bag. There is a crossbody strap on it, but you can also take the straps off and you can use it just like this too. I just like the way it looks all together. I think the design of it is just really pretty. I love that it's got this snakeskin print. It's not real snakeskin, but um, I feel like I'm seeing a lot of people wear snakeskin boots. Um, I went for a purse instead, so I can still wear it every single day. I feel like snakeskin is also sort of a neutral, in my opinion. But I love that it's just a straightforward bag. I mean, it's got this drawstring. There is only one big pocket. It's a bucket bag. And I feel like, I don't know, it's just a really nice everyday bag. And I got it for like 40% off. This bag specifically is not on sale anymore, but I will go ahead and link it below. There are tons of different colors you can choose from. There's also snakeskin, but I think the little details are a little bit different. I'll also link some other affordable options that are very similar to it so that you have some different options to choose from. Next up, the pair of shoes that I decided to splurge on are these by Alexander Berman. I love these, you guys. Aren't they so pretty? They're mules. I never wear white shoes and I decided, you know what? I love these so much, I'm gonna try it. These were also an end of year sale item and because they were on sale and I really, really wanted them, I actually went a half size down because they didn't have my exact size on sale anymore. So I, I ended up having to like wing it. I got a size 36, I'm a 36 and a half always, like perfectly. But you know what, they've stretched out, I took the chance and they fit me perfectly. And I love these shoes, you guys, they're so pretty. Look at them. I got these for about 40% off, which was such a score. I love them so much. They have a black color that's on sale and then they have snakeskin. I don't think those are on sale, but I'm gonna link to those so you can check them out. See if you wanna buy them for yourself. I love these shoes. I feel like they go with everything. I've been wearing them a lot. Like I'll be wearing them today all day. Next up, I feel like the teddy bear trend, I, it's not even that I feel like, it is true. The teddy bear jacket trend is really in right now. I feel like I see people wearing the teddy bear jackets, like those fuzzy thick jackets, and wearing a lot of sweaters. So um, everything's been like a tan color. I found this, it was at Target. It's, my mom thinks it's the ugliest jacket in the world. She was like, wait, why are you buying this jacket? But it's got that like teddy bear trend going on. It's white, which I tend to like a lot more. It has a little like denim details and it was on sale and it was only $10, you guys. So why not buy this jacket, right? It's a great jacket. It was only $10. I'll link it below along with a few other teddy bear jackets. All right, so another thing that I went ahead and got myself were these hoop earrings. They're by um, my son Miru, Maison Miru. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I will link them because they're really awesome. They have really wonderful earrings. I didn't think I'd be back into the big, big hoop trend, but then Carly on my team started wearing them. Nikki started wearing them. I feel like everyone's just starting to wear these big, huge hoops. And I was like, I'm going to resist. I'm going to resist. And then I gave in and I'm so glad I did because look at these, aren't they cute? They're so cute. I love huge hoop earrings. I feel like they're a really cool trend right now. They make me feel younger. I don't know. They're really cool. I love big hoop earrings. I think the key is to make sure that the hoop is just really thin. They're gold plated. They're about 60 bucks and I feel like everyone should own a pair. When I travel, I really love to have a huge scarf, a travel scarf. Um, I've always wanted the cashmere one, but I feel like, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like cashmere is overpriced. Are you with me? Do you feel me on this? Sometimes I'm like, Three, four hundred dollars for a cashmere scarf or a sweater or something cashmere. It just seems really, really crazy to me. Um, I was on bloomingdales.com and I found this. I think it's their own brand. It is a huge travel scarf and it is cashmere. Usually when they're a little bit more affordable cashmere scarves, they peel a lot and then they shed all over the place. But I got this one. It is super soft. It does not pill so far. I've had it for about two or three weeks. I'm wearing a black sweater. It's not all over me. And I don't know. I feel like it's just a really good thing to have. It's been a little bit chilly in Los Angeles. It hasn't been freezing cold, but for LA, it's been pretty cold. And I've kept it just sitting on my sofa and I've been wrapping myself in it and I love it. It's just so soft and warm and it's a nice, nice little investment. So I'll link this too. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I've been really into these ritual um, multivitamins lately. These are actually their essential prenatals. I'm not pregnant. 
but we are kind of like in that mode of like, okay, let's try to see what happens over the next few months. And so my doctor always recommends getting on prenatals before you even get pregnant. That way you, you're just like ready to go. Prenatals, I have had like a like a war with the prenatal situation because I feel like most prenatals are these huge horse pills. They taste nasty, they make you feel nauseous. You don't even know if they're really doing anything, like if your body's absorbing them or any of the nutrients at all, where they come from, anything. What I like about Ritual is they tell you where everything comes from. I met the owner not too long ago and she told us how she sources all of the ingredients in all of her um, multivitamins, including the prenatals. And I feel like she really just puts a lot of care and love into choosing what's going into them. These prenatals specifically have like a citrusy scent to them too, so they don't make you feel so gross. Like you don't feel nasty when you're swallowing them. Instead, it feels a little bit refreshing, especially I can imagine if I were pregnant, that like smell of a, of a prenatal is just so gross to me. So these don't have that smell at all. They're actually kind of nice and refreshing. I feel like these have become like a game changer in the multivitamin world. So I encourage you guys to check out Ritual. Um, they have prenatals and then they have regular multivitamins that everybody can take. And last, of course, I'm gonna throw in some beauty products because I'm constantly trying new beauty products. I'm gonna show you some makeup today. Um, I have been loving this multi-stick from Ilia. I've just been loving everything that I've been trying from Ilia. I've been wearing a lot of their lipsticks, but then I got this multi-stick and it's such a pretty color and you can use it on your eyelids, on your lips, on your cheeks. I've been mostly using it on my cheeks and I've been just like throwing it into my purse, into my new little Chloe bag and I've been putting it on my cheeks. I kind of like dab it a little bit and put it on my eyelids a little. Sometimes I'll tap it onto my lips. It's so nice. It's a really good color that I feel like everyone can wear. It's like, I don't know, look at that. It's just a really pretty color. I feel like everyone, it's like a color for every skin tone and it's just really nice, natural looking. This is like my mom hack beauty product because if I don't have a lot of time but I wanna look like I've got some color to my skin, this is what I use. And last, I have been playing with so many different eyeshadow palettes. It's probably because of Nikki. She's really turned me on to these like caramel colors, coppers, even some pink colors. Um, I recently tried this brand. It's called Zoeva. I don't think it's a new brand. I think it's actually popular in Europe, but they're starting to kind of like make their name here in the US. And I really love their products so far. This is their caramel melange uh, eyeshadow palette. It's, it's just so nice. Let me show it to you guys. I feel like these are colors that are really trendy right now. They're just so pretty. Everyone can use them. There are these like light brown colors. There's like a little orange pop. Um, there's some bronzy gold colors, a copper. They're really, really nice colors. I feel like all of the eyeshadow powders are, are nicely pigmented. They're like not too extreme. They feel really soft on your skin. There's vitamin E in them. I really like the quality and the colors are so pretty. I'm wearing some of them right now. I feel like you can really do some like everyday looks with these or you can really like dress this up and wear it out at night and everything. Um, and the brand is actually fairly affordable considering you know all the different makeup brands out there. I like this one. I think you guys should check out Zoeva. All of the products I've tried so far have been awesome, but this palette especially has become a go-to for me. I've been wearing it every day this week and I love it. So those are my January favorites. Tell me in the comments below if you like this type of video. I really wanna share some of the stuff that I come across, whether it's stuff that I'm buying or stuff that's sent to me. I feel like, you know, there's some really cool things there every single month that, that we should all know about. Um, give this video a big thumbs up and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.